What's up everyone, 3 d Prince 747 here back again with another video. So I needed a way to mount a separate spool on the back of my P1S that has the AMS on top of it because I get a lot of cardboard spools and to be honest, the re-spooler just snapped after being used three times. This is PTG. So that's done. It's going to go in the trash after I uh, grab the ball bearings out of it. And the Postomatic broke after two times. So I'm kind of sick of respooling. Um, I did respool this uh, PETG uh, up here. Um, so, I mean, that's the last thing that the uh, respooler did before it died. So what I'm going to do is... I printed this Y adapter. It's going to go on the back of the P1S. And what's going to happen is we will have one PTFE tube coming in for, for the uh, AMS and one coming in for just the regular spool on the back. So um, I'll get this uh, connected. I'll get it all, um, the PTFE, the... Um, I don't know what they're called, the uh, pieces that go in here. I'll show you in a little bit um, and remember what they're called. But I'll get that all set up, and uh, we'll be back in a little bit. All right, so I just looked, and these are called pneumatic fittings. Um, that's where the PTFE tube goes in. Um, this, on printables, I'll put the link in the bottom, comes in different sizes. Um, it also comes with this fitting uh, print that you can determine which one you have. So here, these are 9.6 millimeter, screw in perfectly. So I'm going to add these to this Y connector here. And we will attach the Y connector and insert PTFE tubing into here. Um, I'll show you that right after this. All right, so here's what I ended up with. I've got the cardboard filament spool on the back. I've got the Y adapter in place. If I move this, you can see that we're still going to the AMS unit. So what I will do is select external filament from the slicer and print something and let's see how it goes. So it looks like things are going good from the individual spool back here. So I'll report back once this print is finished. And this is the end result, and it turned out great. So I highly recommend if you have an AMS to add that Y splitter so you can print with cardboard spools or plastic spools. Thanks for watching, guys. Please hit that like button. We'll catch you on the next one.